The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new move you learned from mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon railwalk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it.
Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of the tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bath mojo force field protecting it, so you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those voodoo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Eight. Oh, you lucky sly! This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. I think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Thank you. 
this vault without finding the rest of the clues. is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. 
You need fuel from the flamethrower, and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in.
some personal demons to get the answer to this one. Try four, four, four. Outstanding! You've uncovered 
Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Use the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. If I could unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby Skull Temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you.
the hay and feathers in here. Just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toting roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Thank <laughs> you. 
can't open this vault without finding the rest of the clues. jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into Ms. Ruby's skull temple. Hmm. I could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly! I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world. Slack Hoopa. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well... I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Thank you. 
You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out.